Hey guys, I'm back for another video, and welcome to another recording tutorial for OBS. Now, I've already released one tutorial, but by far the most common comment on the video has been, why is it not working? My screen is completely black. Now, that makes a lot of sense for someone that just installed this program, because most of the time, they're using programs that they haven't set up with OBS yet. So again, I'm going to take this very slowly and I'm going to show you how all this works. So warning, it's going to be a tunneling effect because I am recording with OBS. <laughs> 1080p 60fps. And let's get started with this. So let's just say, I don't know, file explorer, right? I want to record this for whatever reason. So what I'm going to do is go over to this. And I'm going to add window capture because it's a window. And then I'll call it file explorer. You have to do this for each and every separate window. So if I were to open Minecraft right now, that'd be something separate. Steam, another separate thing. Right now I have it to set to record my entire monitor. So here we go. Window, this PC. Which see, it says up here, this PC. So that makes sense. Boom. So now, File Explorer is open. So as you can see, if I move it in, whoop, it just disappeared. If I move it in out of the screen even, you can still see what I'm doing because this is on my second monitor right now, believe it or not. So yeah, it displays it in the little corner here. And of course, I can get rid of that or I can fit it to screen by doing this. That's another common question is how do you get it to fill the screen? All right, so that's example one. So let's get rid of this because I don't need to record File Explorer. Let's do something a bit more common, like Minecraft. So let's open up the game. Boo, 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 boo. Running Optifine, all that good stuff. And all right, we have Minecraft open. And for argument's sake, I'm going to put it on the second monitor so you don't see a tunneling effect because that'd be really weird. So what we do now is we right click, add game capture. And now I'm going to call it Minecraft. And then it says here, application, Java W, Minecraft 1.8.3. And it gives you, if you click on this drop down menu, it gives you all the different windows you could be recording right now. I could record Skype, Audacity, Sony Vegas, and anything I have open, really. So let's do Minecraft now, right? And there you go. Minecraft pops up in the middle of the screen. So there's example number two. Now let's do another thing. Just to be absolutely sure, let's record Chrome, right? So I'm going to put this on my second monitor. And just so that you guys don't think I'm adding it in the video, there you go. It's still kind of sticking out of the monitor here. So now I'm going to do, actually, let's get rid of this new Minecraft thing because I already have one for Minecraft. So remove you. And then we'll do add window capture because it's not a game. I think window capture does work on games as well, but don't quote me on that. Okay, I'm going to click Chrome. Oh, I already have one for Chrome. Chrome 2. <laughs> and then it says Window, Google, Google Chrome. And you can also set it to record the inner window or the entire window. And by entire window, it also means this outer edge here. So that's all I want to do there. I can just be like, bing. And then as you can see, bleh. And then as you can see here, I am recording it and you can see kind of a weird doubling effect here because it's on the primary monitor but there you go so now that's on my second monitor I could of course I don't know what this is celebrating Frederick Douglass oh there you go okay so yeah you can record Chrome this way now if you have any other problems and again you have to select it in here otherwise like for example monitor if I just did this black screen of course so be 100% sure that you have something selected. And if you're not recording something, say if I had Fallout selected but wasn't recording it, you don't want to have that selected because then it's constantly searching for a window which decreases performance. So make sure you're only selecting what you're recording. So hopefully this tutorial cleared up some things. And if not, then make sure to comment down below and I'll see how to fix your problem because I have quite a bit of experience with this program. So it shouldn't be too difficult of a task to get it to work. So that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.